Hi, this is Robin Swan with the Winter Park Chamber of Commerce. I am the Director of Government Affairs and we welcome you to the Candidate Interview Series. Today, we are going to be interviewing Deborah Barra. She's running for State Attorney in Florida's 9th Judicial District. Uh, she'll be participating in our political mingle on July 29th. It's a virtual event where we will raise awareness of those who are running for a series of different offices. Um, and we thank you for joining us. Thank you for being with us today, Deborah. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So we have three questions for you today. Sure. Uh, the first is, what is your primary motivation for running for this position? Yeah, so my primary motivation is the fact that I care about this community and I, I care about the future of this community and the safety of this community. I have been a prosecutor for 17 years and I've dealt with Orange and Osceola County crime for those 17 years. Um, I've prosecuted over 100 cases and, and gone to trial over 100 times. Um, and in addition to that, I've served under three different managers. And so I've had a front row seat in terms of what works, what doesn't work, and what we can do better in terms of creating a safer environment and a safer community. And so as a manager in all three of those administrations, I have always been implementing the policies of others. And it's, it's been a privilege and I'm very fortunate to have had that opportunity, but I'm ready to implement my own policies now. Oh, great. Great. Well, you all, I think you pretty much answered my next question, but you may like to add to it. Sure. My next question is, how are you uniquely qualified to serve in this position? Yeah, well, it, I'll build upon it because it is, I have, basically what separates me from everybody else is that I have the trial experience that I think is needed to run an office of prosecutors. Uh, you have to have prosecuted cases because you're leading 160 prosecutors and there are questions. There is, you know, I believe that you lead by example. And so when I say that we have, you know, zero tolerance for say police misconduct, um, my prosecutors can look at me and see that I've prosecuted three different police officers. Um, not because I take great joy in that, but just simply because they committed crime and we have zero tolerance. So I have that in my background, but I also have the manager experience that is necessary. You know, the state attorney's office is an organization. It's a business. We have a budget of $26.2 million. We have over 400 employees in five different offices. And so you have to know how to run an organization. And for the past 17 years, taking that management experience. And for the past three and a half years, I've been running the day-to-day -day operations of the office. So I don't have a learning curve. Uh, I'm not somebody coming from the outside trying to learn, you know, how do you turn on the lights? I know how you turn on the lights. And I think that that's what separates me from everybody else. And if elected, how do you hope to positively affect the office and the constituency that you will serve? Yeah, so I have, um, a lot of things that I want to focus on that haven't really been touched upon. Um, the first thing that I want to do is create a government accountability unit. Uh, there is corruption in Orange and Osceola counties that has gone untouched. And we have at the state attorney's office what's called a grand jury. And a grand jury is an entity of civilians that serve as grand jurors and they have the ability to do investigations. They have the ability to have subpoenas sent out. They have subpoena power. And as state attorney, I would serve as legal advisor to the grand jury. And so some of the things that you know, local politicians have gotten away with, um, they're, they're not gonna get away with on, on my watch as state attorney. I, I also wanna extend diversion programs. After 17 years of prosecuting cases, I know that there are some people who make a stupid decision and they can still be productive members of society, but they screwed up and they can learn their lesson and they can come back into society and they don't have to be convicted felons. 
Um, there are also people out there who are violent and they are a menace in our community and they need to be removed from our society. And so as state attorney, I want to divert the people who have simply made mistakes and I want to focus in on attacking the violent criminals because victims matter and we need to focus on victims. That is the job of the state attorney. Well, excellent. Well, thank you. Those are our three questions and we appreciate your jo joining us today. Thank and you. to our, yes, thank you. And to our, our viewers, we hope you'll join us as well. That's the Political Mingle. It's a virtual event on July 29th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Uh, we're pleased to share that our presenting sponsor is Charter Communications and our supporting sponsor is the University of Central Florida. You can reach uh, information to register as a, as a guest um, at our website, which is winterpark.org. Thank you so much.